What's going on guys? Matt with Flying H Farms. We've got Chicken Girl in the background. We're going to go check on our bunnies. Uh, all three of our does gave birth while I was out of town, unfortunately. So we weren't able to get any of the video of the actual birth. And But this is a day later. So, I mean, they're going to still be little skin uh, covered little guys with no hair. So... Um, Chicken Girl is going to take it away once we get into the rabbit hutch and she's going to tell y'all all about their births and we're going to meet the bunnies. Okay, so here we are in the rabbit hutch. This is Nibbles. So she was the second to give birth. She had six bunnies. Three came out dead at varying stages, but these ones are happy and healthy. So here they are. Ready to see the Nibbles? Yeah, there it is. It's very cute. So she's got three still living. She pulled a lot of hair um, whenever she was in labor. She pulled it last minute, so I'm not sure if she put as much as she intended to in there. So she did that. What happened to her? But it was very weird how she had the varying stages because she's never done that before. So who knows about that one? And then this one is Judy. So the other morning we saw that she was bleeding and had pulled hair, but she didn't put the hair in her nest box quite. There's a lot of red hair. And um, she gave birth in the night after having pulled her hair the night before and having uh, had blood coming out of her. So we've got this little cutie. She had four. Where's another one? I don't even know where they are. And there's another one. This one's going to be really pretty, like Daisy. Hmm. She's like, what are you doing to my babies? Yeah, that's what she always does. I'm sorry, mister. Where are the rest of them? Oh, you want to see them all? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, you got to check on all of the bunnies. Come okay, on, well, don't be I gotta go back you're slacking. Oh, my slacking. gosh, look at that wasp nest. Yeah, we need to fix that. And then there's that. Bad wasp nest, bad guys. And here, Judy, will you hold this for me? Thank you. Yeah, this one's going to be looking like Daisy. You want to just pick her butt. That one's not too clean. But I'm sure she'll fix it. Neither is that one. And then where are the rest? I oh, found one. Oh it's kind of like digging for treasure, huh? There he is. His butt could use a little cleaning. Did you um, get all of, uh, did you get all of Nibbles' on? I only got one, so I'll have to go back. Yeah. And then here's another. Oh my gosh, just went to fatty. Whoa, feisty. Their bellies are always full. That's good because she means she was nursing them. Okay, you guys. Yeah, like this one, this one's got a really big belly. Yeah. Here's our vocal guineas. Yeah, I'm going to go deal with that while we uh, put them back. Let's go let those, let's go let those guineas out. We leave them up overnight. We've lost a lot of guineas to the coyotes lately. All right, come on, guys. Come on. Uh oh, they're going to fight right here in front of the door. We got to make sure they're all okay. And just in case y'all are wondering, these are our chicken grow outs. They're, uh, they're really pretty and sweet. They are. There's a towel. Now stay out of your nest box. Don't be a whore. I'm allowed to take your babies too, Nibbles. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's cute. This one's cute. Oh my goodness, he's adorable. It's Kevin Tan. Oh, Tan with a little dot on its head. It's Kevin Jr. Oh, he's so cute. That's his name, Kevin Jr. Until it's a girl. Yep, then it will have to be uh, Cottontail Jr. And there's another. It's going to be white. Oh my gosh, that one went rolling back into the nest box. Come back here. I already took that you. I need to see the third one. What color is it going to be? White. We got a lot of white babies. Oh my gosh, look at all that hair. She really did pull a lot. Yeah, she pulled more than Judy. What is he doing? Oh, oh my gosh. All right. Oh my gosh, they're in my ears. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's wrong with them? They're so funny. And I'm back getting my towel. Oh, I need to put y'all back. You're a good mama, Nibbles. Yeah, you're your good mama. I got some very funny pictures of her pulling hair. 
Looks like she pulled a bear spot on the back of her. Okay, that's up to you. Now, just in case y'all see these uh, trays are covered in chicken poop, and what we're doing is we're harvesting the chicken poop, and then we're going to let it sit for a while and compost, and then we'll have chicken poop fertilizer for our garden. It's kind of a, a perfect thing, and it also shields our bunnies from getting uh, poop Daisy, on them. Daisy, the day that she had her baby, started dragging her nest box everywhere with her around the cage, and then she pulled hair, and then she had them. Like, she took this, and she was just dragging it everywhere with her, and I was like, you silly rabbit. Here they are, all bundled up. Hers, I think, get hot. Well, how many did she end up having? Um, eight. One, I think she stepped on on accident. Mm. Here's this cutie. And she's a first-time mama, too. Let me see their bellies. Let's see if they've been fed. Do you, I'm just worried because of the wrinkles. And we may have to force feed. I mean, that's, that's fairly normal. Because she hasn't come in here today. No, let's see um, what the other ones look like. Look at his name's Squirmo, I guess. Oh my gosh. Hers are very, very active and vocal. Here's this one. Oh my gosh. It's gonna be, I can't tell yet. Oh, white. And that one's running away. No, this one's gonna be tan, that one's gonna be white. And this is gonna look like its mom. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. What is that color called again? Tort. Tort, there you go. This is going to be white. So for all you tort fans out there, we got a tort one. We've got actually four. Four? Wow. Yes, yeah, she had three. Here's another. Her runt's a tort. What do you think? And here's baby? another tort. Hey! The chickens keep picking my feet. Oh, they drag me whenever I wear a dress in here. One. Two, three. So what do you think about their bellies? I think they might need a little more feed. What do you think? Yeah. Four, five, six, and seven is her runt. All right. This is her smallest bunny, <laughs> which is pretty good. Yeah, their bellies are a little wrinkly. Yeah, she, I don't think, she, either she hasn't been feeding them at all or hasn't fed them enough. Yeah. Which is common. Yeah, especially for first time mommies. Yeah, I wasn't even still learning. to have that many babies, honestly. Hey. Only problem is she doesn't really like being handled. Yeah, she is a little skittish. Hey, the goat's saying hi. Oh, sunshine. Yeah, sunshine's like, mm. All right, so uh, are we going to do the force feed, you think? You want to wait yeah, a little bit? Yeah, maybe. I'm just a little worried that they might get okay, hungry. Okay, so we're going to go include y'all in on the force feed. Um, well, I guess right now, huh? Yep. Yeah. And then I'll go to throw a towel over Daisy and grab her and bring her. Okay. That's how you keep them calm. Here. Hello. <laughs> Cheer up, Buttercup. You're going to go take care of your babies. It's okay. You're going to live. Okay. Now I've got a big baby. Her head covered so that she doesn't have to look. Because that was stressing out and scared. What you looking at, huh? What you looking at? Hey! What are you doing? Like this? Yeah, and then keep her head covered. Just the chest exposed. Yes. And that'll keep her calm. Alright, so what is this? We have how many do we have going at the same time? Five. Five. This one's really calm, I like. Yeah, that one is very calm. And then all the other ones are down there. You can see them pigging out. Now we have her head covered to keep her calm. And as you see, she's not moving. She's definitely not in distress. She just, whoa, slide. <laughs> they go tumble. But she, uh, they, their bellies were of concern. They were kind of shriveled up, not full. So we just wanted to make sure that they got food. So um, I think what, last time we did this um, to another one of the bunnies, it was pretty much like clockwork after that, right? Yeah. She even pulled hair after that. Yeah, I mean, so just sometimes I- Oh my I, gosh. Oh my gosh, Whatever. you just dropped one into the abyss. Well, that's where he wants to go. <laughs> it's like all my other ones are down there. It's warmer down there, it's cold up here. <laughs> Those little Look ears. at that little thing. Me? Yeah. Mm-hmm.
Yeah, that one's like, me too. Me too. I'm hungry. Well, we'll get you on in a second. I think all the uh, nipples are occupied on this half of her right now. So we're just going to go fatten up those little bellies. So guys, we're going to leave y'all here today. Um, we'll keep checking in on them and our progress. We'll let you know how Daisy uh, turns out being a mommy. Hopefully she'll start pulling more hair. Um, and she's she'll... got quite a bit. So you think she has enough hair? Yeah. Well, we'll see if she starts feeding them on her own or we're going to have to keep doing force feeds on her. So guys, please don't forget to uh, check out our Facebook page where we paste updates that we don't always put on uh, our uh, YouTube here. And also don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like and comment, and we'll see you next time. Is this guy? Sorry guys, I know we just signed off, but I wanted to show y'all, this is what full baby bellies look. Oh, they're not full. Well, that one in the middle looks full. Th See, no creases. This guy? Yeah. Well, then you're done. I'm gonna put you back. All right, anyway, just wanna show you that, guys. Bye.